So I just got back from Somalia and it was my first time ever in the region. It was shocking to say the least. You would go to villages and um, you would have to choose which lady you're going to take to the local village hospital. The lady who just had the miscarriage who just needs meds or the lady who's about to have a miscarriage and might die. So you're like tossing a coin on another person's life. It's just crazy. You don't know what to do. So eventually we take the lady who still has the baby in her stomach. We find out that the baby's dead. You know, so we're like, okay, she's gonna pull through. And then right before you go to sleep feeling like a hero at midnight, you get the call that she died too. It's so hard as a, as a, as a human being to go 20 years without a functioning government. It's stuff that we think and we take for granted, such as just water, basic hygiene, expecting a hospital to have water. I realized that um, no matter where you're from, your heart bleeds. There's a lot of great people in this world and a lot of people who've done great things for other societies. I think attention needs to be focused or shifted back towards Somalia. This is one that's ripe for help. You know, these people have gotten to the point where they stop waiting for it and they're just preparing to die.